By default, Blender won't render out transparency, but it's a very easy thing to turn on and I'll show you how to do that in this uh, movie just now. So here we are inside of Blender with our default scene. We've just got our standard camera, cube and light. So the only thing that we have inside of this scene just here is this cube. Now there is nothing else going on in the background, so the question is what are we going to get if we render out this scene? So we have our camera just here, so if we come up under render, render image, it's going to render a image of what that camera sees. And here we go, we've got our solid cube, fantastic. But we also have this solid gray background, kind of surprising if you're expecting transparency. So let's close this up and I'll show you how we can easily turn that on. So what we need to do is we need to come over to our render properties, which is this little camera icon just here. And if we scroll down to the film section and then turn on transparent, that's all we need to do. Now, we didn't actually see a visual change just out here, but that's also because we need to factor in what display mode we're in. So if we come up to these little icons in the upper right corner just here, by default, we're getting viewport shading of solid. If I change that to rendered, this is what we get just here. So you can see we actually now get a checkerboard pattern showing up in the background. Fantastic, that's suggesting we're getting transparency. And if I just come down to that same option I turned on a moment ago, if I just toggle that off and on, you can see it changes from that solid to the checkerboard pattern. So this is looking really promising, but let's just prove this is all okay, guys. So render, render image, and fantastic, this is looking great. We've got a solid cube and the checkerboard pattern just here. Let's just again triple prove that this is all okay. So let's go up under image, save. Okay, now there's lots of, lots of settings we can change just here, but the default settings are exactly what we need. Under file format, it's set to PNG. Lots of other cool settings we can use, but again, let's just keep this as PNG. And again, by default, it's actually setting RGB alpha. So it's actually including the alpha by default. So if you were exporting out things and you're expecting to see transparency and you weren't getting that transparency, this would be a good one to double check uh, whether that's turned on or not. So again, I haven't actually changed anything out here, guys. Let's just uh, do a save as image. That's going out to my desktop and they'll be just getting saved as untitled. So we'll just give that a second to save. And sure enough, there it is just there. So untitled.png, let's open that up in Photoshop and see what we get. Looking very promising, there's our checkerboard pattern. Let's just be extra sure. Let's uh, just add a solid color, which I'll just drag behind that layer. And sure enough, there's our transparency, fantastic. So let's jump back into Blender because there's another thing that I would like to show you just here. Let's uh, go up to File, New, General throw that away. So we've got ourselves a nice clean scene just here. I wanted to show you what happens if you're actually lighting your scene using an HDRI image. A very common way to light scenes. Actually, if I uh, pop over into Chrome just here, I'm actually on the website just here, uh, HDRI Haven. And if I jump back into that HDRI's section just here, there's lots of fantastic images which you can download to light your scene. Uh, I was in here a few moments ago and I actually downloaded this image just here, Lakeside, uh, which is what I have out here on my desktop just here. So let's jump back into Blender. Again, we've got our nice clean default scene just here. Let's light this using our HDRI image and then explore in a moment what happens to our transparency when we export. So uh, the way to get a HDRI image in uh, to light your scene is to come down to this little world icon just here, the world property section. Let's click on that. Now, if I go into this color section just here, you'll see there's a gray chip just there. If I click on that, we have the ability to change the background color, but we actually uh, wish to import that image. So we don't hit that color chip. We actually hit the little dot next to that, and we wish to add an environment texture. So let's do that. Let's open this up a little just here. So let's open our image up now. So let's choose open from the desktop. Let's just choose that lakeside image just there. Choose open image. Now that's been loaded in, everything's okay. We didn't see a change just out here inside of our viewport. Again, we need to consider our display options just up here in the upper right corner. So let's click into that rendered mode just there. Give it a second and sure enough, there's our HDRI image, which we are actually using to light the scene. So you can see the lighting on the cube has changed dramatically since we added that image and everything's looking great. 
let's say we're very happy with the uh, with the lighting on this cube. Let's export this out. So let's go up to render, render image, and you can see that our image actually includes our newly lit cube, but it's also including that background HDRI image. Now there's going to be some situations where that's exactly what you want, but of course this lesson's all about exporting out with transparent backgrounds. So how do we actually turn off that image? Well, the great news is, guys, it's exactly it's exactly what we did a few moments ago. So all we need to do is come into our little render property section, again scroll down to the film section, and turn on transparent. And of course, as soon as I did, the image disappeared. We're seeing the checkerboard pattern. Everything's looking great. So notice if I toggle that off and on a few times, you'll see the lighting on the cube remains identical, but the image is either there or it's not there. So let's set this uh, to transparent and let's uh, go up to render, render image. And this is looking extremely promising. There's our new lighting on our cube. There's our checkerboard pattern. Let's just save this out to be extra sure. Let's go up to image save. Let's save this as, as untitled one to the desktop. We'll give that a second to save. Excellent, there it is just there, untitled1.png. Let's open that up inside of Photoshop and see what we have. Fantastic, there's our cube with the new lighting. And like before, let's just really prove this point. Let's add a solid color, put it behind and turn that visibility off and on. Fantastic, so that's it there, guys. So uh, inside of Blender, if you wish to export something out with transparency, all you have to do is come into those render settings and come down to the film section and turn on that transparent checkbox just there. That's it there, guys. Hope that helps. Catch you later.